Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, 11.30. Alright, let's fight a corrupted Derposaurus. Oh, that didn't let. Where are the? Where were the two guards that were with me? Fuck you! Go eat somebody else, you son of a bitch!
dodged out of the way of that. Please look keep. Eh, horse really didn't do a whole lot. <sighs> Asshole Source Rex. Did I just walk on the air? <sighs> but where the fuck were you during that whole fight, dick? Alright, who wants to get eaten by robot crocodilers? Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? Yeah, don't bother helping guardsmen. So how do you steer this thing? You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. My brother, welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Okay, somebody give me a Gatling Rattler. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? Soulless Ginger. You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks. I promise.
The defectors. Yay. You get to go buy more full healing potions because Tyrannosaurus douchebag. Yay! <clears throat> like when it's actually like when you're out and about wandering around and you can choose your own, you know. You can set your battles up. It's like, okay, this is the terrain. I can go fuck with things like this. You know, and put things in your advantage, like a hunter. Then, yeah, it's really fun. But when they throw you into an arena where it's like, here's the giant monster, have fun with that. And it's like, no. It's like everything is set up for you to be a hunter. Not to be a fucking commando. If I could set things up in a way to be a commando, things would be a little bit fucking different. Oh boy, I can do stuff, things and stuff now. Won't find better wares.
Actually, fuck it, let's... Shit, meh, crap, meh, shit, crap, bullshit. We're letting the Osram take Durval. Uh, they'll give Jeez, so many handling mods. Wrap on the knuckles and let him go. Regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. said to meet her at a green tent in the camp. Might be worth a visit. Wait. <laughs> that woman said meet her at the green tent. I already did that quest. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend to the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the rock. Uh. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identity scan. <laughs> Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? They don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Snowback here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. 
Emergency venting authorized. I underestimated you. Except by now, I... That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. <laughs> what? Well, the vents are actually doing stuff. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting, please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. In a smaller room. Now, if you want to give me three power cells, I'd be really happy. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. What was this place? A holographic theater. ZD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to hey, you changed my clothes. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague, if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating. Waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Hey guys, I'm gonna mix synthetics as peacekeepers and oh shit, there's a glitch in the system. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. Said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. 
Hey everybody, I heard you don't want to get killed by synthetics, so I made a bunch of synthetics to kill everybody every 50,000 years, so you don't want to get killed by synthetics. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Two? The fuck? Don't give a fuck. I'll just drop this off here while I go look for power cells. Maybe there'll be power cells. There's not going to be any power cells, are there? Are there any power cells? No power cells. No. All right. Me now. God. Mine. E two data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobek. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, 
spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo, the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. That hologram of Gaia reminded me of Gaia from Captain Planet. Bullshit! Stranded shackles? Um, okay, I'd rather have a power cell, to be completely honest with you, I mean, what am I going to trade that for? Some useless fucking shit? Bet you nine will get, get, you, get me ten, so there'll be some useless ass fucking shit. Hades probably got infected Intruder. by the douchebag plague. There's a lot of plants here. I do think it's odd though that these guys are just like, oh yeah, we'll go down into the into the creepy basement. It's like you go down to the creepy basement. It's like yeah, we'll go down to the creepy basement. Guess they don't believe in the taboos and another one of these. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Alright. So whoop. Whoop. Should check the door nearby. Can I have power cell? 
Can I just take the power cells now that the, once the door's open? I mean... Please be... <sighs> Great, if I find a power cell, I have to use it. Could there be four power cells in here? Okay, at least it's in, in just an emitter and not an actual power cell. Let's get that door open. Let's get that door open. All right, up, down, right. So. Oh, wait, it's upside down. No, so be. Be down, down left, up, right, right down. Wait. Or up. That did it. The door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Do you just make me drop my heavy weapon? Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. It's the second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Yes. Try to run. Uh, she went that way. The search is on. Here we are. No. Fear the power of the shell. You will not escape. Oh. 
Yeah, you know, at least the fucking deep mushrooms and stuff. At least they give you a good amount of health. Shit. I call shenanigans. It said he was up above me. And the, I carried a goddamn heavy weapon through here. I should have had my heavy weapon. Oh. What? Ah. Really? There were... Was f he had his back to me. That should have been a fucking silent strike. Fucking bullshit. I think, I think oh, that's just fucking great. And I can't detect them through- oh, and conveniently, this is a plot wall that can't be penetrated by focuses. The dudes are literally spawning. Oh shit! Somebody's killed more than just one of us. Or use. Not a 
but we're not out. Glad it has that class. The game does still have that classic glitch of hey, my cursor is not being blocked, therefore I can shoot you even if it's through a wall. Elevators non operational. Stay alert. Structural failure prevents access. I'm done. <sighs> That's the last one. Alert. Age not structural failure. Repeat. <sighs> or not. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, of course that one just happens to have a fucking health potion. Really? Bullshit. And you're not cooking. Goddamn piece of fucking shit. Broken ass fucking. Hey, you got a silent strike? No, you don't get a silent strike. No silent That's strike for you. Else. Even though it said silent strike and you hit that, you're just gonna do normal attack. creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save, I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. The birthing places of Gaia's machines. Huh? Why is there nothing back there? There could have been a power cell back there! Hmm. I 
think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, it's a bit so office. Oh, so but it, it's sealed off. It's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Be a way inside. More clips. Careful now. I got a machine gun too, ho ho ho. Or am I not going to fuck with them? Okay, never mind. I'll just go this way. of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transfer and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula, by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. And then the crazy cultists showed up and fucked everything up. this way this is lit up no I get to fuck with these guys who wants them you want some Come on and play! Get out there and look, brother! Oh, that is cheap. You're gonna make me go up there, aren't you?
Do I have to climb to get over there, or...? Because I would really, really like to bring the Deathbringer with me! I don't see why I can't have a heavy weapon just on hand. You cheap bastards are going to make me leave my de the Deathbringer behind. Okay, I, I see. You, you, you just... You don't want me to have fun. I see. Fuck you. Or you have nice new heavy machine gun, just walk around. Oh no, no, no. You gotta climb up a ladder. And you, not like you have a rappel rope that you can just pull the thing up Welcome with you. To Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean... Imagine your guy 200 years from now and this new biosphere you're growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you going to do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're going to do, guy? is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Guy and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. So welcome to Hades. Welcome to the void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. And it probably learned to. <laughs> And it decided that it wanted to go all Reaper and shit. I wonder, I'm, I'm starting to wonder, how many times has this happened? <laughs> it's making me question now, how many times has this happened? How many times has, uh, ha is this the first time? Did Hades get, is Hades corruption part of a, a flaw? Or is this literally just a fucking Reaper ripoff? <laughs> uh, you fucked up again! Kill it! You fucked up again! Kill it! You fucked up again! Kill it! Oh, shit. Anyway, I'll catch you next time.